So now in this video, we're going to look at the pull-up resistor and the pull-down resistor. There you can see we got all kinds of uh, stray signals there that uh, an input might not like. So now we're going to go to the switch right there. And you can see we got the pull-up resistor, we got the high voltage. It's helping to uh, solve a lot of uh, those problems right there. Um, but, uh, you know, I it's uh, sensitive enough there apparently that I can still give stray signals there. But in any case, now we have a solid 5 volts or a solid uh, 0 volts right there. That is what the pull-up resistor does. So now we have the pull-down resistor wired up. And uh, again, we got those stray signals. We don't want that. We don't want all that uh, chaos for whatever. Our input is basically the oscilloscope probe right there. So right now, we should have a pretty st steady uh, down voltage right there, low voltage, until I press the switch and get a solid connection. That was uh, uh, that was switch bounce right there, and uh, the switch didn't make a good contact a couple times. Um, but in any case, there you can see, we have a pretty distinct right there, high and low inputs. So now the pull-up resistor is connected to the positive supply, and then wherever you want the output for this circuit fragment to be, it's the input to something else, so in this case it was the probe for the oscilloscope that I was using. We have a switch, it's in the open position right there when the output is 5 volts with a pull-up resistor. Now, when you press the button, that makes a direct connection to ground right there. So there is going to be current flow uh, from the positive supply to ground right there. So you do need a resistor of uh, some value. Lower value will hold 5 volts better before the switch is closed. But in case when the switch is closed, that's going to be current that is uh, wasted going that way. But in any case, the load is going to, or the uh, input is going to see a direct connection to ground. Now that could be a load as well. You could have the positive supply um, come down to ground uh, through a load, and so the load would be what limits the current. It would not be affected by this resistor while the switch is closed. But for whatever reason, if uh, you can't just have like a middle ground or stray uh, voltages or anything, you have this pull-up resistor. For 5 volts until you close the switch and get uh, 0 volts. And of course you can get the opposite voltages. Put a pull down resistor. A resistor connected to the negative supply right there. Again exact value doesn't matter but when the switch is closed you're gonna have uh, waste current and uh, so 10k usually works uh, pretty well. You close the switch direct connection to the 5 volts right there. So even though you got ground a little bit of current's going to come down here, but that's a direct connection to 5 volts. So basically, you have a, a full 5 volts coming out. You could also have a load. Um, so it's probably an input that's looking at voltages, but for whatever reason, you may also have a load that you can power when you do so. And uh, it just goes through that path uh, right there. That load would have to limit current to a safe level. But in uh, any case, that's the pull-down resistor. But the voltage goes up when you close the switch. Pull up resistor keeps the voltage up to uh, 5 volts until you close the switch. Again, when it comes to the pull up and pull down resistors, uh, the whatever it's going to cannot draw current. That will mess things up. Um, but uh, when you close the switch, then current can flow in that direction. So if it is a load, uh, in this case the load has to be uh, t towards the ground side. Uh, so that uh, no current flows will be ground on both sides whereas over here uh, the load would have to be to the positive uh, supply since this one's to the positive supply there would be no current flow hopefully that makes sense um, but in any case that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video